guys and welcome back. This is Chosen Arctic and today we're going to be kind of getting some automation done, playing around with some more tinkers and well, as you can see beneath me, also going to the end. So I hope you guys are ready. So hopping right into today's video, I want to go ahead and get our Batania set up, like fully set up and automated. So it will always have coal being produced. And a good way to do that is uh, I have all of my chest over in that uh, pocket, little pocket dimension with inner chest that it's running out of. You can see that this should be going down and going up at the same time because I have an exporter that is sending coal to it. Now, the only problem is, is once we run out of coal, what are we going to do? Um, so for that, we need a recipe back at, uh, well, actually, we need to move our pattern set up into here. Um, so I think I have some cables. Let's grab our cables. And uh, we are going to move our crafter and stuff, all of this stuff, into that dimension. Um, so let's go ahead and grab this. It's going to grab all of our little uh, pieces, <laughs> all of our individual crafts that we set up. And we're going to go ahead and run this here. Uh, the good thing is, is eventually, or I think today, we're going to move this. We're going to work on moving this. We're going to go to a different dimension today. And uh, we're going to play around with that. So let's go ahead and set this up. Let's take our refined storage, which everything in here is starting to become an automation room, really. Um, and we're going to place this here and then go ahead and place that on top. That should be all connected. And then we can go ahead and move all of our patterns. Now, funny enough, this is a pattern. Yeah, it's yes, a pattern to craft a pattern. Um, then we can go ahead and put our patterns in here. The good thing is, is we can go ahead and take this and set up this recipe right here to make a pattern for coal. Um, with this pattern in here to make coal, we can now make a craft or make a upgrade for refined storage. Let's go ahead and make sure this is set. Actually, let's use this down here. Um, this is actually going to become a little bit more difficult later on. Let's go ahead and pop this off. Um, hook a cable here. And then have this placed here. Okay. Now we can access it. Um, and let's go ahead and do refined storage. And what I'm looking for is a crafting upgrade. So a construction core. And then we can make ourselves a crafting upgrade. At least I think so. All right. Crafting table. All of the... Sometimes crafting tables are some of the hardest things to make. All right. Here we go. There we go. Crafting upgrade. Now, with this inside of the exporter... If there's no more coal, physical coal left inside, it will start to actually request the craft over here. Um, so as soon as this is done, it's going to start pulling via the crafting recipe that we have in here. So pretty much this is ready to go. This should fill up and stay completely full, uh, which is really nice. And it's going to keep our Batania like rocking and rolling. Now, just to put in perspective what our Batania setup looks like, it, it looks like this. It's going to be a mess, though, with me having a magnet on. Go ahead and turn that off. Now, there was a, uh, a demagnetizer that I used early on. It's gone now. I think it was a part of the backpacks mod. Um, and that backpack mod ha is now gone. But you can see now the coal is coming from here into the hopper. The hopper is being controlled uh, with this pressure plate. There is a regular redstone link on the bottom. And this is the redstone link that is uh, shift clicked on, which is the receiver. So you have the transmitter and receiver. And, man, I really love the create wireless links. These are really nice, actually. So if we're going to be making our way into the nether and beyond, we might as well make a little bit of a platform, something for us to stay on while we're there, and also some way to get rid of this portal. Now, I don't know if I want to take and, and build in a fortress. I think that might be something that I do. But we need to find a fortress that is going to be good for this. Um, so... How are we going to go about this? Also, um, the skull, the fire protection. Can I make this now? I was needing a skeleton skull. Yeah, no, I don't think we No, We don't have skeleton skulls. We have wither skulls, but not skeletons. Yeah, no. Um, beheading from Tinker's Construct can apparently get it, though. Otherwise, we have to go through this method, which is mystical agriculture's, which is a little bit more difficult. But anyways, um, yeah, we're going to be doing this, but uh, there's also another dimension that we can go to that's a, a little bit different. I also want to move my laser over there 
Anyways, let's go ahead and make some waste stones. This is uh, how we're going to move around in this dimension. Let's see, I need to make some purple dye. There we go, make some purple dye. And we're ready to go, right? Well, uh, I'll actually make two warp stones, or three warp stones, because I need to make um, a couple of these. Uh, I need to make a couple of waste stones. And then I'm I'm gonna need a waste stone that, or a warp stone for later, in case we're far away and I just need to teleport somewhere. So, for right now, let's go ahead and place this, um, well, actually, I don't even know where to put this thing. That would have been something good to know. I guess I can place it right here. And we can call this home. And is global, yes. Um, I don't really know what the global means. Maybe cross-dimensional? I don't know. Um, but we need to find a fortress. I do. I did bring some of this just in case, but uh, I don't want a portal. I just don't want this portal around. So maybe we go through here. We can find a fortress nearby. And we'll use this. By the way, there was a ton of cats on here when I went through here last. Right after I built it, uh, there was tons of cats. Okay, let's let's hope for the best. Um, also, I do need to turn on my map for this. I definitely have to have my map on for this. So, uh, unfortunately, I can't see my the top right. Um, I need to be able to see what my Y level is because it's, it's kind of easy to lose your your bounds, right? You're kind of, it's easy to know. It's hard to know how far down you've actually gone, but I need to find a fortress, which is right over here. Isn't it? Am I going the right way? It's hard for me to tell <laughs> if you didn't already notice. There we go. We're making our way to this fortress. Perfect. Okay. I think I want to find the central area. Which I think is here, yes. And in here, <laughs> after we get some wither skeletons out of here, do that two shot, no problem. We should be good. Making sure that, oh, I was trying to get that wither skeleton in here. There we go, okay. So we cleared that out. Let's go ahead and break one of these pieces. And I wanna place this right here, where of course the blaze are shooting. And we'll call this the nether. Oh gosh. There we go. And we're on fire, and we need to eat. Oh boy. Yep, and we got visitors already. Oh, could you imagine fighting a compressed version of these? There are compressed mobs, by the way. That one right there is a compressed zombie. Oh, I can only imagine. That's gotta be, that would be rough. Um, I didn't bring any torches. Oh, I did. Actually, I do have torches. Totally forgot, I have a spell book. I got torches for days. All right, so um, I'm gonna try and light this up a little bit. The only problem with this area is everything can spawn here, as you can see. Um, but if we light this up, it'll prevent a lot of the stuff from spawning. And if we block this off, that'll also help prevent the blazes from bothering me too much. Okay, so perfect. Dimension is sort of blocked off now. Um, and this is, uh, this is not a bad place either. I can go ahead and actually expand this here. Ow. You know what? Why didn't I just go ahead and just fully block this off? What is wrong with me? They are still trying to get to me. My goodness. Okay. So yeah, I need to place these all back down again. Um, laser core is going to go in the middle. I need one block in between. So there's that. I still don't exactly know <laughs> how to rotate these the proper way. Unless there's like something like if I can do this. And maybe like place them this way. Is that right? I hope this is right. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Then I, oh, it is. Did I actually do it right? I placed them right. Wow, for once. Nice, so what I can do is I can go ahead and pop in here. Now, I wanted to see what exactly the uh, the depth is for cobalt. 
Um, because that's exactly that's what I want to mine for is cobalt. So the Nether Wastes or the Warp Forest, Crimson, Soul Valley. Um I don't know. We're in a Soul Valley, so we're good. Uh, minimum Y level is 34, so we could be at like Y level 30. Or let's do Y level 50. Y level 50 seems like a good. Or maybe 45. I'll do like 45. Just to call it there. And then I also need to probably chunk load this area that we're in right now. And it looks like I got to chunk load two areas to keep it loaded. But that should hopefully mine out all kinds of stuff. I don't know if ancient debris is going to be a part of it, but it should definitely mine stuff out. And it looks like if we put a blue lens in there, it would go a little bit faster as far as getting cobalt goes. Just mined up some iron. Hmm. So at the moment, our armor is still pretty crummy. Like we, we were taking some big hits there and yeah, pretty, pretty big hits. And we were taking a lot of damage. So I should probably go ahead and enchant some of this stuff. I will definitely take pr protection. Like if we can get at least three pieces with protection four on it, I think we'll be good. Now, the weird thing is I'm using up my experience, but we gain back a pretty decent amount as well. Don't want protection three on this. I want protection four. Give me that good protection four. I'm going to be going through and just enchanting and enchanting until... I get it all back. Notice my uh, my enchants, by the way. Or notice my level. My level's not really going down. It's actually going up, which may seem kind of weird. And I would 100% agree with you. It is weird. The experience level seems to go up, which is interesting. Okay, oddly enough, don't ask me how this works, but we en I ended up ch enchanting this and getting projectile protection and protection five. I, I, I'm almost like scared to think that this armor just like is broken in general, like because of that. So I, I hope we at least get that protection. I, I don't know. Can we enchant a jetpack? No, we can't. Oh man, I still have though a piece of armor in here that I guess I could go ahead and enchant. Wow, protection. Like that's exactly what I wanted. And like, unfortunately, like with mana steel armor, I don't really have to worry too much about like uh, mending or anything because it will repair itself so long as we have mana in a mana tablet. Like it'll just actively repair itself with mana. So remember how I said I didn't really understand how the Tinker's modifiers and stuff worked? Well, I just kind of clicked on my sword and I can now see how these modifiers work. I can see what modifiers there are. And like this beheading, for example, like it requires specific things to get. And this one's cooling. And I think that these different things right here, that you can see the abilities right here, creative abilities. If you have abilities, I guess it'll say that it is an ability, or I guess these are abilities, like putting diamond on here, putting uh, a head on there makes it uh, draconic. Head of a great beast that allows your tool a second ability slot. Ooh, so yeah, you could add a second ability slot. So like these right here all tell you. Oh, that's really nice. I like the uh, the integration here telling you how everything works. I still like the book, but this this is actually really nice. So if you see right here, um, like if we put luck on here, you can see modifier requires one ability slot to apply. So if we wanted to put luck on here on our sword, we would need an ability slot available. And we do have an ability slot available on our sword. I don't know, however, because I'm out of modifiers, I don't think I can use it because it also, I think, requires a modifier as well. Well, no, this is a modifier. So I guess th this means modifier. The This means ability. And the tags are something else. So I guess I could put luck on here. What else requires, like, what else uses an ability like just luck for right now, other than the creative stuff. Oh wait, gilded trades an ability slot for two upgrade slots. Okay, so we could technically put this on here to remove our ability slot and give ourselves two more uh, modifier slots. I'm assuming. 
I, I think. So some people were talking about there not being an XP system, but this is the old way old tinkers, I think, kind of worked where you had the ability to add things. So you can add writable at no cost. And what this is going to what this is going to do is it's going to give you more upgrades. Um, I don't know if there's a limit to the things that require the modifiers. Um, like a limit to how many modifiers you can use, but like this one respawns an upgrade slot basically is what it's saying. This one right here sets this tool ahead by one upgrade. So I'm assuming that's like three upgrades right there. If that's how it works. This one's kind of cool too. over slime. Basically, I guess you put the slime on there and you have to refill it with slime and it runs off the slime durability. Um, but it says it's not friendly towards, uh, tools lacking slime, which is kind of funny. Um, I like these little nods here and it tells you all here, um, netherite. This is how you add netherite. Okay. So this does require a modifier slot, but it does require diamond and or emerald ahead of that. Necrotic hitting enemies uh, drains their life to heal you. This is this is a nice modifier right here. This means it's life steal, so you're going to be leeching health off of your enemies, which is a really nice thing to have on your sword. Like, is this possible for me? Like, we, I mean, we do have an upgrade slot. Like, we still have an ability slot available, but like, if I put this on here, this gives us an upgrades. And what exactly are upgrades? Are upgrades still... Okay, so I put upgrades on here. Can I add the necrotic bones? I can, and that uses that extra upgrade slot. So now we have necrotic on here. Ooh, actually, I think Tinker's Construct stuff is going to be pretty potent and pretty powerful. With, with that knowledge right there alone. So I did promise you guys we were going to be going to another dimension. And well, that dimension is going to be the end. We should, at this point, go to the end. There's nothing, like, really stopping us from going there. By the way, gas tiers. We have so many gas tiers from all of the creepers in our mob farm. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Um, but yeah, we are going to be taking the dragon out. And I'm going to try my best to do it in a special way. We're going to see exactly what we need in order to do this. Um, but let's go ahead and make this. There we go. End cake. I don't know if this is like a consumable thing, but we're going to see. Um, we have a quest complete, by the way. Also, somebody said there's a quest in here that will, if you claim it, will reset your world. And some people have apparently done it. I do. Um, yeah. Th it may be one of these. I, I don't know. Um... I think it might be this one. Oh no. Which probably resets the world. I know some people have been <laughs> saying that, which is kind of funny. Um, but not at the same time. I completely understand yeah, being frustrated. Um, but which one is this? Uh, I think it's right here, right? What do we get? Oh, we just, oh nice. We get one of these back. And I notice dragon. So the, we get dragon skills, hopefully from defeating the dragon. I do need to make sure my magnet's on. And also, speaking of magnet, uh, there was a another magnet from this same mod, Simple Magnets, that is a better version. It can pick up items 11 blocks away when activated. Yeah, this one's definitely better. So let's make this one, because it's going to be even better um, and have a much farther range. And yeah, let's go ahead and get this done. Let, let me go ahead though first, because we are going to use this. We need to grab some bottles because we do need some uh, some dragon's breath and we're also going to need a few other things. Uh, let's see, regular bottles. All right, so I'm going to make a few and then we're also going to have, we don't really need eye of ender. We're going to need our cake. Oh, our sword and shurikens. I'm probably spelling that all wrong. So from Tinker's Construct, there's a couple different kinds of shuriken. Um, one is a higher damage shuriken, which is the quartz one. And then the other one is flint. I'm going to go with flint. It does have a high knockback. Um, I don't know how that's going to affect the dragon, if at all. But I'm going to take a few of them because I'm kind of interested to see how this is going to go. Um, we should have plenty of power while we're there. Um, I do have my fruit salad to make sure we're nice and uh, filled up. Let's see, 
torch. I'm going to go ahead and just bring... Well, we don't really need a torch, do we? I might bring some platforms. Like some cobble slabs. Because I don't know if this dimension is solid or not. I think it's still a sky block, so... That might be a thing. And... These shurikens hopefully work... On the towers. And I hope that our armor is good enough. The more I think about it, the more I'm like, Oh, I just hope all of this works. I really hope this works. Okay. I'm going to place it down. Um, I just want to make sure I have everything here. And this is my spawn. So I'm probably going to spawn into this block when we come back. Because I, I haven't slept in a normal bed for a while. I, I, I think we have everything. So I mean, I, I guess we can just do this. Right? Okay. Okay, we spawned in a box. So that's almost... That's promising. That we're in a actual world. And not a void world? I don't actually know. <laughs> the dragon could come in here at any moment and one-shot us because... I don't know if it's just a normal vanilla dragon or not. I mean, I'm assuming it's just a vanilla dragon, but it, it, it may not be. This may have the, uh... You know what? I didn't see if it had the Ender mod in here or not. Oh my gosh, where is the dra Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, where's the hole at? Where's the world? Okay, so it's... It's not a skyblock, and the dragon is here, which is all good news. Let's try this. Yes, that works. Oh, that works perfectly. We're going to see how quickly we can do this. Hopefully it doesn't take us too long. I love how it just lands on it. Will this work? Oh, it does! Nice, it went right through the hole. Getting the aiming down on these are a little bit difficult. But this is going to make it so much easier on me. I can, uh... Let's see. Break that. Compressed Enderman. That probably wasn't a good idea. There we go. All of them are broken now. So I should be able to, uh... Take a nice little trip down here. And get our bottles ready. By the way, I'm going to take a bunch of bottles of, uh... The Batania Air. Which is just going to be Ender Air bottles. These are used in Batania. For surprisingly quite a bit of things. Quite a few things. Um, and then definitely need to grab some of this. Uh, is I don't know exactly what it's used for yet. But I'm sure we'll find out. Let's see. What is what is this used for? Dragon's Breath. Some arrows. The bookshelves. Ah, yes. And also solar panels. Yes, this is a definitely a must grab. Definitely gonna need that. So the dragon's landing, which is good. Still so loud. Ow. Oh, I just, I hate when it does that, but yeah. Oh no, Ender, why are they after me? I... I have good armor, but like... Still, they do take a chunk of my health. Ow, man. That Enderman hurts. So I wanted to test this out. Does the shurikens work? Oh, oh, they totally work. Even when the projectiles are not supposed to work on the dragon. Like when it's stationary like this, those aren't supposed to work. Interesting. Can we get this thing to stall it? Like, can we, are, th are these enough to stall the dragon? I think they have just enough cooldown to not stall it. Oh, it's so fun. And I think our magnet's like picking up the residuals. Oh, it's working. <laughs> I bet the other ones would do so much more damage though. Because they almost two shot mobs normally. What an interesting way to fight the dragon <laughs> with Tinker Shurikens. I mean, we could obviously probably hit the dragon too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Never mind. Don't do that. Ouch. I mean, honestly, we could just stand here. I'll grab my my bottles of, of Ender Air. Yeah, we can just sit here and just spam the damage on it. That's pretty simple. Well, until you run out of shurikens, then I guess we have to go in the normal way. Which, this sword does quite a bit of damage. Pretty nice, actually. I bet if we just run around, we're gonna pick all the shurikens up. So, with our last bit of shurikens, 
Is it doable to kill this this way? Actually, let me grab this real quick. There we go. It's it's totally doable. Um, maybe. There we go. And there we go. Perfect. I will take all of that experience. Thank you. That was incredibly loud. And why are these? Oh, I must have looked at them. <laughs> Watch me die to Enderman after defeating the dragon. Oh my goodness. Did these spawn? Oh, these do. I think those do spawn after you kill the dragon. Or they no, they were probably already here. Anyways, where did it go? Where did egg go? There it is. I definitely need that. And did we get any dragon scales? Not the ones that I thought we were going to get. Okay. Kind of interesting. Place this and we'll get the egg. Perfect. Now, does the egg give us anything? No. Okay, so we have mystical aggregations dragon scales. Okay, those are used for that. These dragon scales, but I did not get this dragon scale it will drop a scale it would be used useful to have a magnet with you when it drops um which it may have dropped but i didn't pick it up so unless it went in here huh we could go back to spawn i mean and and see if it went to our spawn? Because sometimes items can do that? No, we just didn't get one. Interesting. It might be a bug, actually. So I looked at the uh, Quark's webpage for the features, and there's a reason why we didn't get a dragon scale. So if you didn't get one, don't freak out because that's intended. Because what it says over there is, when an Enderman that was spawned by the player, uh, and it says the natural spawn one does not count, is killed, it will drop a dragon scale. So we would have to respawn another dragon. And if you don't know how to do that, it's a very simple vanilla mechanic um, that involves the in crystals. But we'll go over that later because it is super nice to have that dragon scale because it can duplicate a Lytris, which is really nice. So um, that's definitely one of the features of it. You can make multiple Lytris from that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to mention that because we are ending the end of the video. So. Let's go ahead and thank the sponsor of today's video. So, of course, that is going to be a huge thanks to the Wanderer. Thank you so much, my dude, for that uh, the amazing support over on Patreon. Like, I really do appreciate that. Like, super generous. Guys, if you want to become a Patreon yourself and support the content that I make, then uh, be sure to check out the link down in the description below. There you'll find the link to my Patreon, also my Twitch, and my Discord, which I recommend checking all of them out. It is definitely a great place to uh, to come hang out with me. All of those really are. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video, guys, a huge thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.